getting a double dose of uh, Ness. 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 Bumblebee. Coltman. Yeah, I, I, when you said that, totally uh, got me confused too. Watch, he's gonna pull out Mega Man, and we're gonna be like, damn. But no, 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 no. He, he definitely plays Snake. Snake needs to be sneak CQC Snake over here. As the grenades definitely do heal, and that's quite a bit. Got the Bumblebee Ness over here. Yeah, the Buck Bumble Ness over here. Rusky nerd. I think it's Ruski. Ruski? I, th I think. I don't know. Uh, I pronounce my use way different. I don't know. <laughs> Ru, Ru. Okay. Get it. Simple read on the up tilt off the roll. Puts a platform C4 and hey. grenade play. Coleman gonna be taking stock one. I don't know what Ruski was trying to hit there, but they're going to suffer for it a little bit. As easily as Ness is able to absorb and deflect things, it's a timing thing. You got to you gotta know when to do it. It's not as easy when Snake uh, starts mixing up what he does. Up tilt. Yeah, uh, and something you can you can see there's actually a lot of uh, big difference in like how Snake normally wants to play. Uh, Ness can absorb all of his explosions, so the grenade, uh, just everything. So he's got to take a much more, honestly, CQC uh, way oh, of going. Oh no, jump! That's yeah, they have to do this. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of damage or not. All oh, right, no not not too bad. Wow. Snake was pretty much screwed down there, but I guess uh, Ruski didn't want to finish the job. Boom! And they died themselves. They had to recover. Careful. And you can delay that side B too. Ooh, nice little. C4 oh player. my God! Oh, no fear! All right. No fear! Loving it. Look at Coleman right there with the button placement. Side B. Oh, moving around. Choosing it to stop, to stop it early too, so they don't absorb it as easily. You directly fired it on them. Oh, that is so smart. That is so smart. All right, Coleman gonna be taking game one with a two stock. Let me get a replay on that on that side B again. That, that last kill right there. So he, he uses it like stops it right there, so get that explosion on the way down, and he does it again, right? But we're gonna take this this up B because you have to recover low. Yep. It yeah. Yeah, and a little whenever warm. whenever Ness's uh, up B like hits something. Once up B, like the PK rocket, like uh, starts, and if it hits something, the the distance is greatly reduced. So because oh, yeah. the Nikita has a, a hurt box, uh, Ness hits it, and then thus can no longer fly. Yeah. Simply walked up to him like, "Oh, you gonna roll? Easy." <laughs> that kung fu kick. Yeah, fortunately, right here, peace. Coleman gets grabbed by the ledge. Like peace. Good game, easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they had it on the control. Ready? Oh. Hello. Side B killed away from the up B and smoke him for it. It's amazing how much you get to delay that, too. So yeah. And yeah, there's really the short distance again. <laughs> it's kind of a ridiculous tool for Snake to have. Boy, totally yeah. did just for that. All right. Hey, Salty Fun. Hey. hey salty Fun here now joining. Hi. I know I came in behind you. You didn't see me. Um, but uh, so give, give give me the down low of what just happened in this last game. All right, Who are so we seeing at this point? we're seeing Coleman the snake and Ruski Ruski nerd the, the mess. Coleman playing a lot well here with the CQC, getting them off stage and timing their uh, side bees to catch the nest in the recovery. And then, like, once the nest goes low, it's like it's kind of like chess checkmate. In this in that scenario, okay. Oh, did he parry the first hit of the, the charge yes. up smash? Yes. That's that's pretty slick. It's pretty slick. All right, yeah, we see that uh, right now. Um, oh, oh no. Oh no. That's lucky. Yeah, but uh, Rustmer is using a lot of the uh, the back air in neutral. 
Which, I mean, that makes sense. You know, it's one of Ness's... Maybe not one of his best aerials, but definitely one of the really good ones. And specifically against Snake, it has a little bit more range than that. Oh, that has a decent range on it, so... I guess that's how he's electing to break through the wall. Yeah. Risky doing a good job of keeping up their advantage right now, not falling for these explosions. Absorbing when they need to. TK fire confirms. Oh! Yeah, that's it. So, Snake normally loves to trade. Snake is like basically a stock broker. But when you're down by three stocks to one, trades aren't looking so good for you anymore. So, yeah, he needs to, right now, he needs to find ways to actually take this stock without incurring too much damage. And right as I say that, 36, 44, and he's off stage. He's going in for the kill. Doesn't quite work and actually cost him the stock. But hey, he was looking pretty cool. Yeah, I said this earlier, but um, Snake has to play a little more CQC heavy as uh, the explosions will definitely help Ness a lot more than hurt. Oh! Tries to go for it. Ooh, oh, 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 what are y'all doing? <laughs> Alright, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, things happened in that game. <laughs> I, I, I guess. <laughs> that, was, that was something like. Uh, I, you know. I feel like I, that's I was, a part was, of Ness. Like, when mm. you play against Ness, you kind of just have to expect that sometimes you just get nicked by the tiny thing and die at zero. That or your opponent just gets nicked by something there and it just stutters for a bit and, like, like they, they just air dodge off stage or something. Without even air dodging. Oh, that, that was cool, by the way. Tries to go for an empty jump up tilt right here. Parry and the, the punish, the taunt. Ruski about it this game. See if they can keep that momentum up and hopefully Coltman doesn't SD. <laughs> Stock one and three. It's very rough for Coltman there that game. But as proven in game one, they can definitely take control of this and close the set out. <laughs> Covered the roll with that too, with that grenade placement. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Dude, the, the chain? What is this? Wait, how much damage did that do? I, I, I it took him across the stage. stage. It took him across the stage, and I feel like that actually did a sizable percent. Yeah. Oh, nice. Canceling the cipher early to avoid getting uh, spiked right there. Someone put that damage handicap on by accident. Ooh, oh my! Snake just took so what much happened? damage and died to that edge guard. Yeah, that was very good for Colton and uh, for Ruski. I got the names from Keith Devin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> fire. Coleman intelligently running away from the PK fire pressure. Nice jump over the PK fire. Don't want to let him do that all day. Down there to cover the getup. Oh, no punishment. Trying to find a way to hit Ruski on this platform. It's very hard to figure out. Simply catches them with the up tilt, but it's not gonna kill. Not strong enough. Nice of Ruski to just walk away from his problems. <laughs> and the C4 catch, so they forgot all about it. It was on the platform the whole time. That's why Colton keeps it there. Good little damage. That's an that's an advantage, snake and disadvantage. Snake is definitely going to take more damage. That's the read something that down smash. Alright, Coleman boxing. Okay, C4 blows up. Puts another one down. Ah, yes, uses it again just to catch that up B. Not even that low is going to be safe from it. Very good of Coltman to, to have like as a little insurance right there. Like, that that helps cover the recovery a lot from the ledge. The snake. The snake's disadvantage is uh, not an ideal place for him to be against Ness. Because Ness will just throw PK fire all day and it's just easily throw them off the stage once they land or something. Empty jump forward tilt. Cypher. Oh, the movement! 
It's moving on them. Oh, the down smash almost connecting. Oh, uh, this is where it gets so scary for the Nesto. That low recovery once again actually manages to get oh. out of there. The back air turning it around. This is not out of the question for Ruski, but definitely, I mean, Snake just hits so hard. You see him going for those up tilts, those F tilts at the side of the stage. Probably either of those could kill if he's not careful. Oh, Another forgets dash. about his own C4. Yes. Oh, and there it is. That should be it. Yeah, not going to survive that. So simply yeah, great. outboxed the nest. Yeah, no, that was, at the end, that was the top. Oh, sorry, your mic went out. But... Uh, uh, which is, oh, probably. Yeah, it's still, it's still going on. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Technical difficulties here, but it's okay. Yeah, good stuff to Coltman. Uh, taking that game, 2-1. Ooh. Yeah, you sell that? Yeah. It's very smart of Coleman to do. Coleman did that the whole set, where they're just like, all right, this platform is my best friend. I'm going to put a C4 right on it. Cover whatever I'm going to do when I'm on the ledge. Which Ruski wasn't handling too well. It's very, like, it, it looks like a very forgettable placement for a snake. But Coleman like used that strategically throughout the whole set, <laughs> and it helped out a lot more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool All right. 